Jane from Enthusiastic Gardener. Thank you so much for joining me again. Um, you may remember a few weeks ago, I took out three boxwood plants from here, moved them over to the new area, which is over by the fountain, and said that something exciting was going to happen here. Well, as you can see, we have had some trellis put up, which is uh, the same as the trellis over by the fountain, if you saw that video. We've had three extra pieces, so two have gone here and one just round the corner where I planted a clematis a couple of weeks ago. So I have this beautiful honeysuckle, a Lonicera serotina, and as you can see it's a climber and it's a honeysuckle, so this will smell gorgeous late at night. Um, it's a late flowering one and it flowers from summer to the autumn, it will have beautiful reddish purple plants, creamy white on the inside. It does grow up to 20 foot it says here, so obviously we've got the space for it and I thought what we could do if it gets too high then we can get some wires, get some little screws right up the top, train some wires and it can carry on doing that and then of course it will be pruned in the um, spring to get it back down again. If you don't prune things, what you'll find is, after a while, you'll have a, a bare bottom half of the plant and the flowers will just be up the top. So it's a good idea to prune things. This area um, is in the shade most of the time, to be honest. It gets um, sunlight for maybe one hour or one and a half hours, depending on the time of year, of course. But having said that, Further up the wall we'll get some. I've already put nice soil in, I'm just planting it straight in the middle. Got my slow release fertiliser here, so I'm always going to put that in anything new that I plant. Put some of that in, sprinkle a bit, and I'll sprinkle a bit on the soil either side that I'm going to push back in. Now I'm looking for a back and a front. We have got this one here, seems to want to go this way. But we will be tying it all up. Um, I don't know that it matters. I think it will sort itself out quite quickly. So, put that in. Just plant that in there. nice and firmly I think that will be very happy here it's so nice to start planting again I managed to get to a garden centre yesterday they just opened again I had to queue up for quite a while which is funny really because I didn't even want to queue up for food shopping but I'd queue up for garden shopping Right, so that's that. Now what we need to do is tie, tie it on. I'm going to keep the tag so that I know what to do, when to prune it, etc. Keep that and now try and unravel it a little bit I mean you can you could just keep it all in its bunch and then just tie, uh, um, spray it out after that well, some bits look dead and then if you look further up you realise no Need, I just need to assess what's what and in fact they're not dead none of these are dead so I've kind of released it now I need to tie it all up
And here it is all finished. And I hope you'll agree, it looks so pretty. We've got some busy lizzies, which are my favourites. We have some trailing petunia, and these will have beautiful purple flowers. I've had these before, and they're really, really pretty. And as you can see the contrast in the colour as well, which I think goes really nice. The sun is just beginning to come over, and this area has a very small section of sun. I've ended up moving my pots actually, my hostas. These hostas have been the bane of my life, as you know from a previous video, I spent ages moving them. Then in another video, I spent ages making garlic wash because they got eaten. Now I found that where they were over against this wall, it was just getting too hot for them. As you can see on this one, the leaves were burning. So I've changed this area into a shaded pot area and um, I think that looks really nice. I hope you've enjoyed this video, I've enjoyed doing it very much. I'm Jeanette, I am the Enthusiastic Gardener, please subscribe to my channel, please check me out on the Facebook at The Enthusiastic Gardener. Thank you so much for all your support, it's been so much fun and there's lots more exciting things to come. May is my favourite month of the year and I hope now that the garden centres are open you can all get out and get some plants and get planting. Thanks for watching, bye!